All right, the first thing I like to see is a window fan put in the window, sucking the air out. This is simply a box fan. It'll take any of the fine dust particles out with the air. Next thing I want to do is I want to tape up the openings to the other rooms using this lightweight plastic drop cloth and some blue tape so we don't ruin the paint on the walls. All right, this is the sander we're going to use. This is a six inch random orbital sander. It has four six inch discs and we're going to use a paper that actually has a Velcro on it that sticks to it. And this is a 36 grit paper, nice and coarse to get started with. So I just put it on right here? Center it on the disc and stick it on there. Okay. Now what I want you to do is grab the machine with your right hand, hold on to it firmly with your right hand, reach underneath and push the switch on. Now just randomly push the machine back and forth, twisting it. Do not push down on it. It's forward and back, left and right. When you can go up against the cabinets, but be careful you don't bang them. All right, now you're starting to get over here near the cabinets. The trick, let me show you how to do this against the cabinet. You're going like this randomly. Now what I'm gonna do is slowly go against the cabinet, just letting the sander touch it lightly. I don't wanna scratch it. I'm gonna go like that, nice and slow. I'm gonna go back again, nice and easy. Now, what I wanna do is I wanna turn the sander on about a 45 degree angle. Why do you wanna do that? Because I wanna get the sandpaper to sand between the voids of the standing disc. All right, Alan. That's looking good. And now's the time I want to do a little touch-up. I noticed that there are some nails here that someone had face nailed over time, and I simply want to set them in. Now to patch these holes and voids, I'm simply going to use a water-based stainable wood filler. Just load it up on the trowel, put it on the floor, scrape off the excess. Now the floor sander does a great job getting close to the baseboard, but it can't get into the corner or over here under the toe kick of the cabinet. As you can see, it can't get here. So what I'm gonna use is simply a detail sander with the same grit paper connected to my vacuum. All right, now I wanna change the 36 grit paper to a finer paper, which is a 60 grit paper. Why are you doing that? Because I want to smooth out any imperfections or scratches that were made by the 36 grit paper. Okay. Rather than move the refrigerator out of the kitchen, I actually propped it up on a couple of 2x4s. Now I need to sand underneath the front edge of the refrigerator, but I can't get a sander in there. So I'm simply going to take the finish off the floor using this paint scraper and drag it across the finish that takes it right off. 